Okay, I am sure you all have listened to the, my uh, first discussions uh, because I started a very short discussion series which will be useful you to find a path to eradicate mental fires permanently. Under that lecture series, this will be the second one. So today's uh, session is focused to uh, look within to explore your mental fires because you learn and you understand that you are, you are getting mental fires due to different uh, incidents maybe even it is even you believe that you are getting angry you are getting hatred you are getting delusions and resentment due to the action of the others so due to the uh, due to the certain situation of your environment but i think you could be able to understand that that is not the real reason behind your mental fires so today's my intention is to give some uh, giving a uh, particular guidance for you to look within to explore your mental fires you have to understand the secret behind your mental fires because uh, uh, say uh, uh, actually there is a reason behind your mental fires in order to investigate it let me take an example say when you are tasting a food so you uh, say there are five persons say maybe with your five friends you are going to a particular restaurant and you are uh, have, uh, having a meal while you are having a meal the same exact food that was served will be tasted different by each person so there are five persons even you all are uh, say having the same food you might notice that the same exact food that was served will tasted different by each person. That's why one of your friend might say uh, this, this food is very delicious, maybe very yummy. I would I, I love to that taste. Uh, maybe I'll, uh, so at the same time there will be one friend, uh, she or he might uh, tell you uh, this, these are not uh, good. I, I don't like this taste. I don't want to have the same food again and again. I will never come to this restaurant again. Like that, that person will uh, say. So why it is that? You have to observe. You all are tasting, you all are having the same food which uh, have been prepared using same spices, same pots and following the same recipe. Even you, the five people, tasting the same food, you might feel different taste. That's why you are, your responses are different. The one person say, it's very tasty, very yummy. I would like to come to this restaurant again. So this is the taste what I expected. Like that, that person is telling. At the same time, there is another one. They don't like it. They will say, I never like, like to have those kind of uh, foods. I will never come to this restaurant. In that way that second person might say at the same time there are the three they are having that food without expressing much more happiness feeling no much more sadness or aggressive feeling okay so then uh, you have to observe that the taste each person enjoys different why is that why is that the taste each person enjoys is different it's different so there is a reason you have to observe it. So then I would like to take another example. So you have to find the secret behind those mental fires. Uh, paying attention to the second example. So we all love to listen to music. So say uh, if we, we are listening to music. Uh, maybe it, it will be a one song, particular songs. The say five people are listening to that uh, song. They might have different responses. So one might say, I, I love this so much. It's uh, some, it, it's touched my heart much. And I feel very happy when I'm listening to that so. At the same time, there will be one person that say, I don't like to the melody of this song, the, the voice of that singer. It's, uh, it's not good. I, I don't like to listen to that music. It's in that way, the other person might say. And also, other, there will be some persons, they are not expressing their responses, they, they don't have more happiness or more sadness, they are just listening to that music uh, and so on. So you have to observe, even in the same family, each member has a more or less different taste 
to their music. Even same family, maybe with your friends. So you have to understand the same song can be enjoyed with different taste. Again, again that uh, that different taste is why it is different. Different taste is defined and it's defined by the different persons because different the persons are different into each other like the fingers in our hand they are different to each other like that the people's minds and their aspirations their mind setups are totally different to each other that's why things are happening in this way you have to observe it and also if i take another example sometimes um, uh, out of nowhere you see or meet a person and you may feel that you have seen that person before. Sometimes when you are looking at a girl or a boy, once you look at that person, you might feel in that you have seen the same person before. Actually, you have not seen that person before, but you feel that, uh, you feel that uh, in that way. There is something about the way that person look uh, and uh, makes you so interested. So you sometimes you might think that I like her hair, I like her beauty, the way he, way she walks, the way she talks. It's uh, I like it. I I like that person much in that way. You might think. At the same time, when you are expressing your feelings with your friend regarding to a particular girl, maybe that your friend might say, oh, oh no, I don't have that much of feeling. She is not uh, beautiful as you think. Sometimes that person will uh, say you. So you want to understand why it is happening. There is a something about the way uh, there is a, that person matches the person you were searching. Because in, in your mind, you are having an idea, you are having a, uh, you are having a taste in your mind. So you are searching that taste, you are searching that person outside. So once you uh, say met that person, you feel like that. I have seen that person before. I have seen, seen that girl before. So you feel so comfortable. In some cases, you fall in love as... Uh, you fall in love uh, at first sight. So that is happening in that way. So you have to think about that again for the same person can have different responses from the other, other five persons. For the same one say sometimes the, that the sun, sun say uh, that say that sometime when you are going to um, having kind of marriage proposal sometimes say you feel that you you like to that girl. But sometimes your mother say, I don't like that girl. She is not beautiful. She is not the one who I expect like that. But see, the, for the same person, there are two different responses. Like that, how those things are changing. Because there is a reason behind all these things. You are sad, the happiness and sadness is occurring according to a particular process happening inside your mind. You have to observe it. Then, uh, the, so one, you have to make uh, some effort to analyze and see your own world through these experiences. Because uh, I, I tried to take few examples, but even you might have more experiences on this uh, in this regards. So you have to make some effort to analyze those uh, things very carefully. Your own feelings, your emotion, and your internal preferences, your expectations, how these things are happening. These make up your internal world. Actually, you are having your own internal world, which is created by with your feelings, emotion, internal preferences, and expectations. So the, again, there is a reason behind your feelings and emotion and all the preferences. So that is what you want to find by listening to this lecture series, by uh, engaging in different uh, activities, observe it. Actually, um, all these habits that make up your nature. So whatever the habit you are having, it's your nature. So you have to observe it. It's all about you. Then uh, your world have different expectation and different taste. That wa that's why you... Uh, you are expressing different responses, different feelings to others. 
uh, each one of us has individual habits that make it our individual world. So we are having individual habits. That uh, all these habits, whatever the things we are like, we are we we uh, dislike, whatever the things we are expressing, uh, the th the 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 way you behave will reflect your individual world. Okay, so you have to observe it. Your world have different expectation and different taste. So at the same time, say again, I will take another example. If you are uh, say mother prepared a jackfruit curry. Uh, sometime there will be one child in your family if there are say five children there will be one child he, she, he like uh, jackfruit curry most he like the way his mother cooked it sometime there will be another child he doesn't like it okay so again it's not the matter of the jackfruit curry oh it's not a matter of the way he cooked, cooked it actually it's a matter of your internal mind that's why those two children are present presenting and uh, expressing two responses uh, on jackfruit curry while they are tasting they are expressing their their feelings one is one, one person is more happy and he he more allowed to have it one is don't love to have it like that so things even we uh, uh, because uh, one one person may like more salt more spicy less spicy like that you are you are that composition of this that the magnitude and the composition of that uh, uh, taste uh, tasty will be different so you have to observe those things and also uh, when your internal habits uh, so uh, now we talk about your internal habits actually what is what do you mean by internal habits internal habit means actually we can define them as defilements internal habits means uh, the the correct word to uh, define its defilements so defilements are stored in your mind all these defilements have been created as a result of your activities activities with not not because of the old activities but because of the certain activities you have generated uh, some sort of energy all these defilements have been created and have been generated then they have stored in your mind so there is a, or if you can't understand what I am telling at this stage, think about there is a certain things store in your mind. The, that is the main root cause for occurring all these mental fires. You have to observe what is inside your mind. Okay. So I think uh, uh, this uh, lecture series will be again explore uh, help you to explore the nature of your internal habits so you can observe that the internal habits or the defilements can be classified into five categories all these defilements uh, can have uh, the some say it's it's like some seeds so you are inside your mind uh, those seeds are stored uh, it's a uh, it's the root cause of occurring all this mental fire all these seeds could be categorized into five types human habits that that the seeds which uh, create uh, some kind of human habits and they will be particular seeds will generate evil habits and also there will be some seeds which uh, uh, which uh, give power to uh, generate animal habits and also there will be some seeds inside your mind will uh, will geared or will uh, help to generate divine habits and also inside your mind there will be some seeds will generate brahma habits something like that so the the all these uh, that if i if i rename or if i give a name for that uh, the the things inside your mind let me uh, name it as uh, habits uh, bunch of habits it's a bunch of habits so it's a store in your mind it's a bunch of habits maybe bunch of defilements we can classify that bunch into five categories human habits evil habits animal habits divine habits and brahma habits so our world is not a fixed one so things are changing 
uh, day by day, maybe hour by hour, the things are changing. It changes to different habits. Sometimes you are acting like a, uh, uh, like a human, the real, say, uh, real human being. Sometimes when you are getting angry, when you are getting hatred, you are shouting, blaming, and you are showing that evil habits from your body, you are showing to others evil habits. Sometimes say when you when you are uh, very aggressive, uh, so you can display uh, those different habits to others. Uh, you can display human habits like love uh, and angel habits, uh, div uh, divine habits like caring, uh, say Brahma habits like uh, prefer to do meditation, like to ha have some kind of uh, mental relaxation like that. And also animal habits like craving, anger and also evil habits of lower worlds, uh, maybe uh, like uh, shouting, uh, approaching like that, uh, different kind of activities you are generating with the power of these seeds. So that is the combination of your mind. So you have to investigate how those things are occurring. What is the process behind all these, uh, behind the occurrence of all these mental fires. You have to observe it very carefully. You should only see your own world that is made up by your own habits, uh, defilements. Th this is the, the starting point of this, uh, of this experience. Because you should only see your own world because it is made up by your habits, maybe defilements. Your habits again, there are five types, human habits, evil habits, animal habits, divine habits and Brah Brahma habits. So you have to observe the nature of all these habits. Nature is made by you. You need to pay close attention to see the nature of your habits and your defilements. So you once happy, uh, so one time you are getting happy, the next time you are unhappy, uh, you are, the things are changing in that way, how it is happening. So you have to observe then. At times your world is happy, comfortable, that is your pleasant world. Okay, that is because if something happened the way you wish, you are happy. Uh, because then at the time you are, your world is happy, comfortable, that is your pleasant world. At, this, at the time you can have say attraction, love, lust and craving to keep the same forever, you are happy. So that is your happy world. And, and also at the time your world is unhappy, you are uncomfortable. That is your unpleasant world. So there are two, two worlds inside your mind, pleasant world and unpleasant world. When the things, when the, when the the, the seeds inside the, the seeds that the, all the, uh, the, the same seeds we discuss about there are five types and also that you uh, uh, that the bunch of seeds uh, is the root cause to uh, occur in happiness and the sadness. Again the happiness and sadness will be defined uh, based on your unpleasant world and pleasant world. Your pleasant world and unpleasant world have been created because of the nature of that bunch of seeds which is stored in your mind. That is the reason. So you have to investigate that. At this time, at, when you are unhappy, you have mental fires and emotional burnout. So, the, so you have experienced this very well and also finding the reason is the most challenging task so I believe that by listening to my uh, lectures, my listening to my uh, discussions, you will be able to find the path to eradicate your mental fires permanently. So just to observe, each one habits are very different. Each one's like the dis each one's likes and dislikes are different. Each one's pleasant world and unpleasant worlds are different. Each one's pains and pleasures are different. So you have to observe why it is. Because the different people might have different uh, bunch of seeds, bunch of defilements inside their mind. At times you are getting more mental fires, you feel a pain like a pleasant, unpleasant or neither pleasant or unpleasant. Because sometimes when you are getting mental fires, 
it 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 can have due to a pleasant feeling that may, same mental fire will be occur due to unpleasant feeling maybe neither pleasant or unpleasant meaning normally that pain will be started that is the initial stage stage of the uh, the process of mental fire at the at very first uh, if something happen as you wish you are happy so you you might feel a happy, uh, pleasant feeling you feel a pain like pleasant if something happen in the way that you doesn't like you will feel a pain like unpleasant or or sometimes say say for an example when it is uh, uh, say when you are experiencing a very uh, say if you receive a food which you like you feel a pain like pleasant if you receive a food which you don't like you feel a pain like unpleasant or if you receive a food which you whether you are not much like or not much dislike you might feel a pleasant no unpleasant feeling so that is the initial stage of this uh, process after that that feeling is getting more so you can observe it once you feel that feeling your pain it uh, that feeling is getting more it will improve to a pain that feeling will Uh, the gradually it will improve to a pain then to an impulse then furthermore it will grow uh, more and more and furthermore it will grow to an emotional reaction finally so you will observe that from your internal mind uh, it will produce con- uh, consciousness energy it will produce consciousness energy that energy has a more power that's why you are getting more power more energy you are blaming to other reproaching to other you are fighting to each with that other because you are generating that consciousness energy inside your mind that consciousness energy will produce one the many seeds out of those five category as i mentioned earlier if you are getting angry you will produce a evil seeds you know the that particular seeds uh, which cause to have uh, evil habits uh, say it's uh, uh, that uh, you, again you are producing the same kind of seed like that you are producing a different seeds uh, different have, uh, seeds i can say it's a defilements different kind of defilements you are generating once you are producing this conscious synergy you are producing those defilement and that defilements will store as a seeds and that seeds will cause to generate the same or accelerate the same process again and again in your mind because already the seeds are there it will it, uh, until the seeds are stored in your mind that process is continuing there will be a no end it's a continuing so you have to observe those things very carefully and this consciousness energy will store in your mind as internal habits so we can name it uh, name them as defilements so when you are when you have when you are getting angry you have an argument um, so you are fighting to each other uh, you are all this evilness hatred and jealousy all these feelings are generating some kind of uh, negative energy so the which will store in your mind that energy again will be the source or will be the root cause for generating the same energy again and again so that's what you want to understand so i think with that point today uh, i would like to con- uh, conclude my uh, discussions so you have to explore many things so i would like to uh, invite you all to explore the reality of life uh, by listening to those discussions so it's very hard to um, understand what i am saying without uh, observing it so your job is to uh, understand the things i am expressing here uh, and uh, listen to them and try to explore them with your real life experiences okay on the second day i would like to like to start the uh, third part of this discussion series okay uh, have a nice day thank you